We're gonna talk about racism. According to MTV's Francesca Ramsey, it's impossible for black people to be racist. Ramsey claims that the dictionary definition of racism, the hatred or intolerance of another race, isn't the true meaning of racism. Because it's just the dictionary. Really? Isn't that convenient? So it's okay for social justice warriors to claim, just look at the dictionary definition when it comes to feminism. All you morons who are too f***ing stupid to look up the definition of feminism. With no mention of the fact that radical feminism, in practice, has virtually nothing to do with the dictionary definition of feminism, but suddenly different rules apply when you're talking about racism. Ramsey says black people can't be racist towards white people, only prejudiced. Reverse racism is not a thing. First off, that has no legal basis whatsoever. According to the 1968 Civil Rights Act and the 1994 Violent Crime Control and Law Enforcement Act, a racially motivated hate crime carries the same punishment no matter the race of the perpetrator or the victim. Secondly, she claims it's only racism if it's backed by a major institution. But when a person of color discriminates or stereotypes a white person because of their race, in the United States, they don't have the institutional power to back them up and say that those feelings are okay. Oh, you mean like affirmative action? Major institutions of learning giving African Americans college places based on their skin color and not their academic achievement in favor of whites. Is that racist? Goldsmiths University, a major institution, refusing to fire student diversity officer Bahar Mustafa after she banned white people from attending a college event. Is that racist? Black on white crime, the major institution of media routinely ignoring or downplaying the fact that black people are 27 times more likely to attack white people than vice versa, while collectively blaming all white people when one nutcase goes on a rampage. Is that racist? Only white people can be racist. Really? The black people are racist, or the most racist people than any other race on this planet. Was it not racist when Bryce Williams shot dead Alison Parker live on air in order to create what he called a race war. Was it not racist when a gang of black radicals called for lynching whites and killing cops just days before deputy Darren Goforth was gunned down in cold blood? Was it not racist when the major institution of media refused to identify the suspect as black? Was it not racist when a black couple beat this white woman while yelling, wrong hood, bitch? Bitch, wrong hood, bitch. Wrong hood, bitch. Wrong hood, bitch. Is it not racist for the major institution, which is MTV, to endlessly make TV shows and YouTube videos lecturing white people about how racist they are? Seriously, this channel is called MTV News. Music Television News. Yet over half of the previous 24 videos have been about racism. Plus, it's completely inaccurate to claim that only major institutions wield power in today's society. Twitter outrage mobs wield huge power. We see them getting people fired and destroying people's lives all the time. And almost every time that happens, it's white people being publicly shamed for saying something politically incorrect. Good people can unintentionally say and do racist things. But not if you're killing white people to try and start a race war. No, that's not racist at all, is it? Or just wind up supporting racist institutions and practices without even realizing it. Oh, you mean like Black Lives Matter, right? Supporters of which routinely call for murdering white people. So do you agree with Malcolm X that white people should be killed? Is that why you're here? You damn Malcolm right I do! So yeah, you do need to die. Colorblindness is not gonna fix racism. It's a good idea in theory, but ignoring race is not gonna solve racism. Race isn't the problem. Treating people differently based on race is the problem. So, treating people differently based on race is part of the problem. But being colorblind and treating everyone equally, regardless of race, is still racist. What the fuck? Or people of color facing harsher prison sentences for petty crimes in comparison to white criminals. Except the study that she's talking about found that racial disparity in sentences wasn't a result of federal judges being racist. As Larry Elder documents, differences in conviction and sentencing rates by race are due to differences in the gravity of the criminal offences, prior records, and other legal variables. Look, I'm not saying that black people don't face racial discrimination 
from institutions and society. They clearly do. But then to claim that it's impossible for people of colour to be racist, based on a new rule that you've conveniently created, which is contradicted by a plethora of examples, is patently stupid. This video again illustrates how social justice warriors don't believe in equality. Treating a black person the same way you treat a white person is not good enough. You're still racist. And even if you're not intentionally being racist, and you're not aware of the fact that social justice warriors think that merely being born white is racist, and that you just want to see all humans as one race, you're still racist. Prejudice and racism aren't the same thing. So yeah, you do need to die. Check me out on Twitter at Prison Planet. Subscribe to the channel. I'm Paul Joseph Watson for Infowars.com.